All right, non-existent audience, I'm coming at you with another tag. It's the Unpopular Opinions book tag. And I actually have books to hold up because I own some of the books that I'm going to be talking about. So that's exciting. Um, so let's just, let's go ahead and start this so it's not obnoxiously long. The first question is a popular book or series that you didn't like. And that would be Looking for Alaska. I really didn't like this book. Um, as you can see, it won an award. I can't really read out what award it is because the font is so small. But um, yeah, I really just did not like this book and I don't understand why it's being taught in classes if it's being taught in classes because like at the end of the book you can there's like a discussions thing like questions for discussion and so I was like what why the fuck would that be in there if people weren't actually using this as a book in like English classes I just, apparently, so I didn't know this before looking at the back of the cover, did not like Miles, did not know his name before looking at the back of the cover because that's how forgettable he was, did not like Laska at all. I mean, spoiler alert, but I didn't really care when she died, so <laughs> yeah, I just did not like this book. Um, and the second question is a popular book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you love. And I couldn't think of anything for this one. Let, I could think of, I, it's not really a book series that everybody hates because I couldn't figure out a book series that everybody hated besides Twilight. And so I just went with a book that I've seen a lot of people on, like, BookTube hate. And that, and people in real life, too. People in real life have been like, oh, yeah, I could never get into that series. So, without further ado, it's the Heroes of Olympus series, which I, I absolutely adore. And when people are like, yeah, I didn't like the first book because it didn't have Percy Jackson in it. I'm like, so did you not like Leo, Piper, and Jason? Were they not good enough characters for you? Like, do you only want to see books with Percy Jackson in it? Do you not like variety? And then I saw people saying that Rick used the same plot, which is, like, not true, especially for the first book. I mean, the first book is, like, Oh, I gotta go on an adventure to save something. But, like, it's not the same. Because, one, there's completely different characters that are going on the quest. And, like, two, like, quests are kind of, like, what the whole thing is about. So you complain about not having Percy Jackson in it. But then you complain about the fact that there are quests, like... What? Anyway, we're going to move on to question number three, which is a love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you didn't want or an OTP that you don't like. And I kind of got a little obscure with this one because I couldn't really think of a love triangle that I, where the main character ended up with the character I didn't like. And then I couldn't think of like, a really popular OTP that I didn't like. I almost went with Harry and Ginny, and then I was like, no, like, they're fine. They're fine. So instead, I went with the abusive relationship of Montparnasse and Epony and Les Miserables. So they're not specifically canon, but they're canon enough, um, and it's just, it's just a really abusive relationship. Like, Montparnasse is, like, a criminal, 
and Ebony is just trying to get by. Technically, she's a criminal, too, and that's why they're together in the first place. But, like, Ebony doesn't want to be, and she, like, is desperately trying to escape this life, while Montcanars, like, is clearly not. And they're just, like... I feel like Montpanars is the kind of person who would abuse his, like, partner, because he's a dick. So, I just, I don't like that ship. Um, the next question is, a popular or beloved character that you do not like? And I am choosing Gale from The Hunger Games, who... Everybody seems, well, not everybody, but a lot of people seem to like and want Katniss to end up with him, even though it's literally the point that he she ends up with PETA, like she's supposed to end up with PETA. That's why she ends up with PETA in the first place. But um, aside from, you know, killing Katniss's sister, which was a big, like, oh, wow, I really don't like this character. Uh, moment, but I didn't like him before that. He just seemed kind of, like, demanding. He was always like, oh, Katniss, why aren't we together? Why are you choosing PETA over me? Keep in mind, I read The Hunger Games, like, probably five or more years ago, so <laughs> it has been a while. I, I may not be remembering this completely correctly, but, um, from what I do remember, he was very demanding, and I don't know, like, I just, I, I don't like him, and I'm glad that Katniss did not end up with him, and that she ended up with Peeta instead, so, good job on that one, uh, Suzanne Collins, <laughs> I, I forgot her name, I'm sorry. Uh, the next one is a popular author that you just can't seem to get into, which, like, this is, this is more of an author that I was into and then, like, stopped being into and now can't read any more of their books. Okay? Does that make sense? I kind of altered the question a little bit because I, I couldn't think of an author that I actually had read and then didn't like, so I didn't continue reading, so I went with this one instead. So, it's John Green. Um, and the, I don't feel like I talk about my dislike about John Green, of John Green, on my blog, so it would be a surprise to you. I don't know why I almost said it wasn't a surprise to you. By the way, I don't edit these things. This is completely unedited, because I'm too lazy to edit something that nobody's gonna watch. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, I, I have no interest in reading Turtles all the way down just because I realized that John Green's books are all the same book. Like, it's always a manic pixie dream girl that the guy can't get but wants to get for some reason because they're a manic pixie dream girl. And then, like, that's, that's basically it. That's the, that's the plot. And, I don't know, I'm just not a fan anymore. The, the veil has been pulled back over my eyes, and I see the truth that John Green is, is not that good of a writer. <laughs> um, a popular, number seven, is a popular book trope that you're tired of seeing, and that is love triangles. Like, Love triangles are literally the worst. Just make everybody poly. And be done with it. Like, why are love triangles still a thing? I mean, I, I get it. You want it to be dramatic or whatever. But... Why love why you love triangles when you can just make everybody poly? Just just why? Um, number eight 
is a popular series that you have no interest in reading. And I have a lot of feelings about this question because the answer is Captive Prince, which I know I'm a Song of Achilles fan. Why don't I want to read Captive Prince? They're like, if you love the Song of Achilles, you should love the Captive Prince trilogy, right? It's a trilogy, I think, right? I don't know. I don't care enough to know. Like, from what I've heard of, like, what the series is about, it has rape in it, and it has, like, racism in it, and it has, like, the characters that, are, that end up together. The one of them is, like, a complete asshole to the other one, and, like, just, I have no interest in reading about that. I just, I don't want to read the Captain Prince trilogy. And I, I always feel like I'm, like, weird for not wanting to read it because it's so popular within the Song of Achilles, like, fandom. And I'm just, I don't want to read that book trilogy. <laughs> And I'm tired of seeing it on my dash. I had it blacklisted for a minute there, and then I had to reset the extension, and I was just too tired to blacklist again. So I unfollowed the blogs that posted about it and said, uh, sorry. The last question is, the saying goes, the book is always better than the movie. But what movie or TV show adaptation do you prefer more, more than the book? And see, if I'd actually read the books that the Shadowhunters TV series was based on, I'd probably say Shadowhunters because I hear that the book series is not as good as the TV show in some people's eyes. Not everybody. I have seen people who are like, the books are better. But I haven't read that book series, so I can't actually say that. So I went with Paper Towns instead. Um... Paper Towns, the book, was like, okay, like, you know, just one of John Green's books. It's just a manic pixie dream girl, and the guy goes on a trip to find her and finds the clues, and, you know. So, I mean, it was an okay book, but, like, it was better as a movie because... I don't know why it was better as a movie. It was just more interesting to see, like, the shots... Like, John Green's writing style isn't that great. It's just kind of, like, there. And, like, with the movie, you got to see, like, the cinematography. Like, the shots they did of Orlando, which is where I live right now, was really cool. And, like, I don't know. It was just better than the book. So, that's the unpopular book opinions tag. I'm not going to tag anyone, obviously, because nobody re watches these. I almost said reads these. It's not right. But, um, yeah, like I said, uh, tune in next time. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to be doing something because I like talking to the NSA agent that watches me. So, bye, guys.